and we're back with another video this time after the wedding the next day immediately we had to catch a flight from Amsterdam to Paris and from Paris to Singapore we were supposed to stay three days in Singapore it's about a 13 hour flight from Paris Charles de Gaulle but unfortunately the flight from Amsterdam already had a delay of an hour so we won't we were not able to catch the flight in Paris so we had to stay there one night which was not great but then we had still about two and a half days in Singapore first of course going for a coffee at this place called Apartment which had a really nice coffee and one of those places that just sells coffee which I'm always very intrigued by no cakes, no food, nothing just a simple filter coffee or any kind of like milk based coffees and then Singapore I didn't have too many expectations except for the fact that I knew that it's a very rich country and that they are quite next level but to be honest I didn't expect this at all in a very positive way because in the two and a half days that we were there we did so many things we visited so many places so many good restaurants and cafes there's so much to see I think one of my co-worker said that maybe two days in Singapore is enough well I think I would disagree I think you can easily spend a week here but it really depends on what you're into but I thought it was a nice change like for me it feels really like Singapore is a lot to offer at least for those two and a half days and for the first time that I was there and Singapore also reminded me a little bit of the study that I did my bachelor's industrial design this one of the tasks we always had is to design like an urban space in the future and always buildings would come up high skyscrapers with a lot of green and I was surprised to see that a lot of this was actually already the case in Singapore as what you can see here for me this was really really amazing and great to see that there was so much green in such a dense city so again, just walking around a lot, um, this was the day I think also that we just came back from a very long flight, so we had to go through the day, and I think at 10 a.m. we were not, we had no idea of how we would get through the day, but I think a lot of coffee and sugar definitely helped, and I think on the day that we arrived, we still walked about 19 kilometers with Suzanne. Now we visited all the hotspots such as Marina Bay, we had a dinner and of course this robot showing us the way, I mean is it needed? I don't think so. And then all of the malls, I think uh, I really didn't expect that there will be like a, almost like a river in the mall and like everything is so over the top and so next level as if they're really living in 2050 or in 2090. It's really amazing we went up all the way to the marina bay uh, sands i think it's called this building very high building to see the view staying here was a bit too expensive i think per night it's about eight nine hundred euros which is a little bit too much even for a honeymoon stay again having a nice breakfast price wise i think I expect this thing to be very expensive, but I think overall it was still fine. Um, so it was not too bad in my opinion. Here you can see I got a, two bubble teas or iced teas for 11, 12 Singapore dollars, so which is about nine euros, I think, 10 euros, which I think is uh, maybe even cheaper than the Netherlands. But again, also I think Singapore is, and did feel like, there's a shit ton of very, very, very rich people and some things are almost too perfect. Like this garden, like it was beautiful, the botanic garden in Singapore, but everything was so well taken care of that there's no wilderness. Like, and in a way I understand because there's so much money, uh, but in a way also it misses the charm a bit. Like the fact that our hotel had like an underground pass to the mall and everything is so connected to each other that it's almost a perfect city which at times could feel a bit like too much and i think one of the things that i really was a bit annoyed by is that everyone is on their phone like literally everyone is on their phone 
went to a Middle Eastern or I think Lebanese restaurant or no actually it was called Sol e Luna might be a Latin restaurant like the fact that I don't know that it says enough about the restaurant it was okay but not great and then the evening there we had a spot at this Marina Bay restaurant at the top again of course the prices are a bit more expensive but if you already assume very expensive prices um, it was still okay i would say price wise and also the food was okay the music was way too loud though and then again i think just walking around and strolling in singapore is super nice uh, so much to see so much to do um, overall really really loved it the airport is awesome of course that was Singapore, a very interesting, but now on to a next adventure in Indonesia.